Good afternoon, WPC friends and family. We're back with what's in the kitchen. Now this go round, you may have to go to the grocery store because we're making a strawberries and cream sheet cake. This is a recipe that I got from a Southern Living. And I thought since strawberries were coming in, I would do something that's seasonal. There was a request for strawberry shortcake, but the strawberries aren't as good as I would like for them to be in order to do a strawberry shortcake. So I'm going to put it in a cake, which makes them a little bit more um, palatable, a little sweeter, and it's really a good cake. So the recipe that I'm doing today, I'm not doing full measurement. The recipe itself will be in the newsletter that's coming out. So as I put my ingredients in and put things together, I'm not going to call out amounts. Um, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cream together butter and eggs. You need to get that butter fluffy. So as my mix hand mixer is going, I'm not going to try to talk over that. If you have a KitchenAid mixer or a stand mixer that you would like to use, that's perfectly okay. So I'm going to get this creamy. my sugar and I'm going to beat it just a little bit more to get it nice and smooth and to that I'm going to add my eggs, lemon juice, and vanilla. At that point I'll stop and tell you what we're going to do in the next little bit. mixing things together from one ingredient to the next you need to stop and scrape down the sides of your bowl so that all of your ingredients have been incorporated now you may have noticed that I um, poured my eggs from a measuring cup if I've got multiple eggs that I need to put in a recipe I will crack them first into a measuring cup a bowl whatever some of them have to go in separately and sometimes the recipe will tell you to just put them all in if you have them separately in a, a bowl, first off, you can work a little faster. Second off, if there's something wrong with your egg or you get a shell in or whatever, then you can eliminate all of that before you have to put it into your batter mix. So as I move forward, I'm going to go ahead and put in my lemon juice and my vanilla. And to that... I will be adding cake flour. We're using cake flour because that's what the recipe called for. And the difference between cake flour and uh, all-purpose flour is that it's a little bit lighter, a little less gluten. And this cake, it, they want it to be light. Now, can you use all-purpose flour? Yes, you most definitely can use all-purpose flour. But I did go ahead and get cake flour. And if you don't have cake flour in your cabinet, you don't want to purchase it, all-purpose flour is fine. So, you're going to alternate buttermilk with cake flour, salt, and baking soda. The baking soda works with your buttermilk as part of your leavening. And that means the cake is going to rise. <laughs> So 
you're going to alternate that in, pour a little bit of buttermilk over, mix in. Pour a little bit of flour in, buttermilk, scrape down the sides. A little bit more flour. And okay, I'm going to scrape down. Better put in the last of our flour, the last of our buttermilk, and the secret weapon to this cake, believe it or not, strawberry gelatin. Pour it in, and you'll see why we need that strawberry gelatin. <laughs> Scrape down once again. I'm going to clear my beaters and then I'm going to add my strawberries. It calls for the recipe, calls for about two thirds of a cup, and that's about what I have. If you have a little less, and if you have, or if you have a little more, that's fine. If you really want a strawberry infused cake, then you might decide you want to put a little bit more, a few more strawberries in. So I'm just going to dump those in. Now these strawberries were okay as I tasted them. I would not use them personally in a strawberry shortcake uh, because they weren't as sweet as I like. And speaking to one of my farmer friends who um, grows strawberries or has grown them in the past, he said that this year's crop of strawberries are going to be a little bit iffy and probably a lot more expensive because we had some we've had a little bit crazy weather um, during the cultivation and growing of strawberries so we might not get a bumper crop however I will say uh, Driscoll's brand that you find at Sam's has been pretty consistent I'm not real sure where those Driscoll Driscoll's brand come from comes from um, but I have had a batch and they were pretty sweet. Um, strawberries are full of vitamin C and lots of antioxidants. So if you like them, that's a good thing. If you don't like them, try to incorporate them into um, whatever. Try it in different things just to get you a few more nutrients. So this pan, it looks like it's going to swallow up this batter. This batter is actually a half recipe. But um, this pan is going to be fine. This uh, cake is going to bake off at um, 350 degrees. And it's probably going to take, the original recipe says about 50 minutes. I think this one's probably going to take about 30. So I'm going to put this in the sink. My hands. I'm gonna put my cake in the oven. I'm gonna pull my already made sample down, and I'm gonna talk to you about the um, icing. Now the icing is made from heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, sugar and lemon juice and strawberries you see the few strawberries in there 
Now it calls for red food coloring. I don't particularly like that, so I don't add it. If you can see, these strawberries are coloring this um, icing well enough for me. Um, I didn't want to go with um, the food coloring. And I made my little sample here of the cake to ice. And I've eaten off the back of this. <laughs> it is pretty, pretty tasty. So you guys know how to ice a cake. And of course you'll have to keep this in the refrigerator. Because the icing is made from refrigerated ingredients. So we're going to slather that on. It is a yummy cake. Cake itself is moist, and the icing is not too sweet. You will whip this, uh, the uh, heavy whipping cream, and add it to the other ingredients. And it only calls for two thirds of a cup of sugar, so it's not too sweet. So you ice it however you like, whatever makes you happy. And then you could always decorate it with um, strawberries on top. And um, it's a pretty good cake. Um, so I hope you found some inspiration here. You can make this cake for your family this weekend. Um, good luck finding the strawberries. And uh, once again, bon appetit.